Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to introduce you guys to a new series that I'm going to be starting and that is a bedroom makeover series. And I am so excited to share this series with you because it's going to be featuring a lot of different things including painting an accent wall, a DIY headboard tutorial, as well as some decor and tips and tricks and things that we did along the way. So without giving away too much of the reveal, let's get started. So this is our master bedroom. This is the room that we are working with. And just a quick backstory, if you are new here, um, we just purchased this house about six to eight months ago and we really haven't done much with it. So this is really an exciting time in our life where we get to personalize our home and really make it feel like it's ours. So with that said, you can see everything is pretty much the way that we um, bought the home. The walls are white, the doors are white. Um, a lot of this furniture is things that we purchased from our previous home. These nightstands are something that we bought off of Craigslist right when we were first married. So they are a little bit sentimental, but um, it is very much that farmhouse feel. And that was a little bit what I wanted to change. I have really been liking a lot more of the modern style lately, but I still have a heart for a little bit of rustic in there. So I would say that for this room, I wanna go a little bit modern, but still have just a little bit of rustic feel to this bedroom. So for this bedroom, I really have not um, even touched the windows at all. Those are blankets that are up on our windows. I haven't done any sort of blinds or drapes or really anything in here just because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with this space. But now that I have a plan and have mapped out what I want this space to look like and feel like, I'm so excited to share it with you. So with that said, let's get started. So I don't know about you, but I have to get my music going. And I'm going to start by removing everything in the room as much as I can, taking out the nightstands, covering up the bed, The first thing I decided to do was get rid of this trim. It was right in the middle of the wall. I'm not sure why the previous owners did that, but I felt like it really cut the space off right in the middle and with such high ceilings, I feel like you would want to accentuate that. So this had to go. So with a flathead screwdriver and a hammer, I was able to pry that off. Now this trim wrapped all the way around the room, so there were several big pieces and then some smaller pieces. So after all this trim is off, there were a few raised lines left over from paint that had kind of piled up over the years. So I had to sand that off as well as fill in any nail holes with um, spackle and sand all that down. And for basic sanding like that, one of my favorite things to use are these sanding blocks. Um, you can find them at pretty much any hardware store and they are really nice to use. And before I start painting, I always like to wash everything down. So I usually use a multi-surface cleaner. This is a mixture of Lysol and water. You can also use something like TSP. Um, and an old wash rag, I just like to wash everything down and give it a good cleaning. And some of my favorite things I like to use are, as always, the frog tape. It's a little bit of a splurge, but it's worth every penny. And these painting kits, you can usually find them at any hardware store and they come with pretty much everything that you will need to paint. And the paint that we used was a bare marquee paint in the eggshell enamel. If you are interested in the specific color we chose, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I would love to share that information with you. So before I start painting, I always mask off my baseboards or anything that I don't wanna get paint on and that is where the frog tape comes in very handy because it has a really great adhesive and it's the best. I also like to remove any outlet covers or plates or anything that I don't want paint on as well as putting down a plastic cloth to protect your carpet is a great idea. 
So when I saw this black paint come out, I was very, very nervous about putting this on my wall. I've never put black paint up on my walls before other than like a little chalkboard or something. So I was really hesitant. But after seeing how it came out, um, I am in love with how it looks. And I just really am glad that I took a chance on this color. So this was the first time that we used the bare marquee paint. And I have to say, I was very impressed with the coverage that it had. And just a quick tip to explore a little bit when it comes to your paint selections. Places like Home Depot and Sherwin-Williams are offering curbside delivery and delivering samples to your door and really helping to get people to stay home and not be out during this very crucial time. So overall, this wall took me about an hour or so to paint. I did use an extension for the higher part and then I had to go up on the eight foot ladder just to get the very tippy top of the corner of our bedroom. And uh, this paint had really great coverage. I only used one coat and then just kind of touched up in spots that I could tell needed a little bit more, but it had great coverage. So this was before I touched up that top corner and I also have the side walls where the trim came off that I also have to touch up as well. And this is what the wall looked like once we were all done with the painting. I was able to get that top corner done. But this is the room once everything was complete. I really love the way that this room turned out. I love how modern it is now and it feels cozy, but it still has that rustic feel that I love. This headboard was a quick DIY project that we were able to do. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you're subscribed because that will be the next video that I'm going to be releasing. And the following one after that will be all of the decor and bringing everything together. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that little bell notification if you have not yet. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching. It's so appreciated and I will catch you next time. Thanks guys.